friends good evening uh, you are watching sms india and my name is sandeep uh, in this video we are going to cover the php part uh, ki, uh, you must be aware about the api uh, of sms so how to integrate sms api in php this is the exact topic and which we are going to cover in this particular video so first of all uh, we simply need to uh, you know log in if you do not have your uh, you know sms account you need to sign up you can click here you need to fill this small form and then you will get your user id and password if you have user id and password just sign in and make sure you should have a sufficient credit balance in your account so uh, this is my demo account i am putting the username demo and the password and after that i will put the captcha and i will be able to log in into it uh -oh, i think i put wrong captcha so let me just re enter the correct cap captcha so right now i have logged in here you can see the complete dashboard of my sms panel here you can see the balance emotional and transactional and uh, now coming back to the point php development uh, sms api development so we need to know the api first we need to click here on the tab called api documents here you can see the all the you know apis are available along with the error codes so first of all there are emotional sms api and this one is transactional sms api in this video we will learn how to configure transactional sms api this api you can integrate with your website or application or any software for any anything like to sending alerts to sending any information through your application or your website so let's start so i will use this and here you can see some parameter of this particular api url see the username so your username and password you need to put your password to your password these all parameter we will uh, we need to cover so let's go to the my notepad file so here you can see the uh, this is the ready made script which we created few I mean a few months ago and this is the api url for the transactional i simply copied from this particular document from here copied and pasted into here here we will check the parameter first is username second one is password third one is mobile number fourth one is sid meaning sender id then uh, your message contain okay when you uh, when you configure the api make sure your, your sms content should not be more than 459 characters in english and if you are using template then edit only the dynamic part which will be in this particular field okay then the another uh, parameter is fl fl meaning flash so if you wanted to use flash message then keep it one or if not then keep it zero grid equal to see grid defines the root so grid 2 meaning uh, transactional root we come back to the uh, document here we can see <coughs> promotional sms uh, api is ending with fl equal 0 and this transactional sms api containing this extra character which is grid equal to this is the basic difference between both okay so uh, the parameters there okay so now uh, coming back to the api script uh, and, uh, and don't worry i will uh, give you the link in the description you can download this ready made script and you can use and in case you face any problem this api is not working the script is not working you can simply uh, coordinate with our support team they will help you okay at any time please check the availability of the developer so you won't get you know any you, you will not face any problem so first parameter is user so here you need to define your username then the password is your password and then the mobile number msisdn then sender id six character sender id meaning whatever you know send uh, see as per the try rules you cannot use more than six character sender id and what is the sender id sender id is nothing it's the six character name which will be displayed on the header when somebody will receive the message you must be aware about the you know transaction when you go to the atm you 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 you're taking out some money immediately on text will come on your mobile and it will it, is, it will show you the name of, uh, of that particular bank bank okay so uh, this is the call sender id then the name see uh, why i'm using name because uh, in the in this template uh, i'm using template based solution so in this 
template there's a called that there is a dynamic field which is containing name okay so uh, i set up the parameter uh, uh, name then another is otp so here is the otp part we created a variable for otp here this or uh, this variable will cover up <coughs> the otp of system then i kept fl0 grid id 2 type text okay and this is a small script you can see step 1 the curl integer then second one is curl set opt so uh, this is the ready made script you can simply download from our uh, from our portal or you can just go to the go to the description and you can you, you 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 will be able to download that particular thing okay so this is the ready made script script available easily no charges for this particular script you just um, uh, you just you should you, you just need to you know log in in our portal you need to purchase the sms and after that you can try so i hope you like this video if you like please subscribe our youtube channel and for uh, and press the bell icon for further updates thank you